All right, today I want to talk about division towers. Uh, um, if you've seen my previous video on the Super 7, I think Super 7 is a wonderful way to learn division in elementary school. Fifth grade, it's going to be wonderful. Uh, when you move on to middle school, though, you're going to need um, a little bit more space to work with decimals and fractions. So I think division towers is a way to do that. Um, division towers is very similar to the Super 7 method. Uh, just with a few itty bitty variations. So we're going to start with um, a problem. We're going to do 408 divided by 8. Okay. And this is going to be just like any division problem. We're going to set it up. So we'll write it over here 408 divided by 8. To get started on division, I usually make uh, multiple towers. Uh, what a multiple tower is, is I'm just going to look at the number, the digit 8, um, and I'm going to make multiples of 8. So for instance, 8 times 1 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 8 times 3 is 24. I usually do the first 3, and then I move on to 8 times 10, which is 80. 8 times 20 is 160, and 8 times 30 is 240. Okay, and that's going to help me a little bit when I'm doing my division over here. Um, then I'll get started on my division, and I look at 8 going into the entire number of 408. I know the traditional U.S. algorithm, um, you'll do 8 into 40 or 8 into 4, and you'll break it up into smaller pieces, but I really think it's important to do 8 into 408 and hold on to that place value. Uh, so what I'm going to do is um, I may use my multiple tower over here to find some solutions. Uh, for instance, if I am not good at my multiples of 8, I can look over here and see that 240 is somewhat close to 408. So I'm going to go ahead and put 240 here. And we know that we're going to subtract that from 408. And I need to figure out, how did I get from 8 to 240? Well, down here on my multiple tower, I know that I did times 30. So I'm going to put 30 up here at the top. Then I'm going to subtract, and I get 168. So then again, I'm going to look over at my multiple tower, and I see 160 is really close to 168. So I'm going to put that down here, and eventually we're going to subtract. But before I do that, I need to figure out how I got from 8 to 160. Well, I know, if I look at my multiple tower, that I did times 20. I'm going to take that times 20, and I'm just going to put it on top of the 30. I don't care about anything. I do want to kind of hold on to my place value, because eventually I'm going to add those numbers together. Um, it, the reason I call it a division tower is we end up getting our quotient up here at the top kind of creates a tower. Uh, 168 minus 160 is 8. That makes the last solution here, 8 divided by 8, pretty easy. Because the way I get 8 from 8 is I'm going to do it one time. That gets us a remainder of 0. We got lucky. So to figure out our final quotient, our final answer to our division problem, I am going to add my tower up here. So 30 plus 20 plus 1. And I should get 51 as my solution. So 408 divided by 8 will give you the answer of 51. I hope this kind of shows you how to divide. Uh, I think it's a really good method uh, for middle school uh, students. Thank you.